Hi, this is Mr. Chuan. I welcome you to my study room. If today is your first time coming here, then I encourage you to subscribe to this channel for more videos. We are still on circuit theorems and today I'm solving a question that a lot of students try to run away from whenever it comes in the exam. And because of that, I decide to call it that troublesome question under circuit theorems. In the actual sense of the question, it's not really as troublesome as students perceive it, but because of the way the diagram looks and most of them don't even take time to critically analyze the question and see how easy it is, they just look at the diagram and switch off. That's why I've decided to call it that troublesome question. Let's go and have a look at it and see whether it is troublesome to you also or you are okay with it. So let's go. Thank you. The question is actually from WASI 2020 General or Commerce Paper for Private Candidates, which we popularly call the NOVDEC. Question number 11A. And this is the question. And if you bear with me, you you confirm that this is a question a lot of students run away from when they meet in the exams. So we are going to try discussing it to see if we can bring down or reduce the difficulty level after today's study. Let's take the question into details now. And it reads, A, C, and D are points on circle center O. Line segments B, A, and B, C are tangent to the circle and angle A, D, C equals 47 degrees. Find the value of Y. And this is our Y here. Here they, they've written tangent, so let me just call it this is tangent. All right. In solving this question, there are some basic axioms that I would like us to get before we go straight to the question itself. And for those who might not know, an axiom is a statement that we accept as true without proving it. So I'm calling them assumptions because I have not proven them, some of them, in the previous videos, but they are true. So we are going to use them. The first axiom I would like us to take is the fact that length AB is equal to length BC. Whenever you have two tangents extending from a point outside a circle, the two tangents are equal in length. So let's try that as in one. We call it one. Magnitude AB equals magnitude BC. Then the second one I would like us to take is that angle OAB OAB equals angle OCB. So this angle here and this angle here, they are equal. And if you remember very well, you will agree that each of them is 90 degrees because this is the angle between a tangent and the radius to a circle because O is the center of the circle. So you mean that here is 90 degrees. So let's write that quickly. All right, then we go on to the third axiom I would like us to note. That is the length OA equals the length OC. That one we have established that one earlier already because each of them is a radius to the circle so three the next one the fourth one i would like you to notice that 
triangles O A B and O C B are right angle triangles. So this triangle O A B this side and then O C B this side are right angled triangles because each of them has a 90 degree angle in them. So let me just write that quickly. Then the next one angles ABO, which in this case is our Y, is equal to angle CBO. Then let me probably add the final one, the sixth one, as triangles. O, A, B, and O, C, B are congruent. Therefore, angle A, O, B, and C, O, B are equal. Alright, so these six axioms are going to help us to solve this question without any stress because they are going to guide us and i appreciate the fact that uh, this is very fast but then you can just pause and take each of them slowly until you understand it very well and can relate before you con you go ahead with the solution to the question otherwise you might face some small challenges because I've just put all of them together quickly for the sake of time. But then you can pause and then take each of them one by one. Now let's go establishing this part. Let's go back and then analyze the question in details now. The whole question here has just one angle, which is ADC. And that is 47 degrees. The very first thing we need to do is to go back and revise on the theorem which talks about a chord subtending an angle at the center of a circle and then the same chord subtending another angle at the circumference of a circle and by applying that theorem you will see that if we should connect A and C as a chord then the angle A O C here is going to be twice the angle A D C. So let's write that quickly. And we know angle A D C. So I mean angle A O C is equal to Four degrees. Coming back to the diagram, that means that the whole of this angle is 94 degrees. But remember, we said in axiom 6 that angle AOB and COB are equal. That means the two of them are going to share the 94 degrees equally. So you are going to divide 94 by 2 and that, is, that will still give us 47 degrees. That means angle AOB is 47 degrees. So let's write that one. Good. Then after getting the 47 degrees, you we'll come back to triangle AOB. And triangle AOB, like I said already in Asium 4, is a right angle triangle. And the angle here is 90 degrees because it's the angle between a tangent and a radius. And the sum of interior angles in the triangle 
is 180 degrees so that means when we add this angle which is 90 we know we add this angle which is 47 plus our y should give us 180 degrees which is the sum of interior angles of a triangle so let's go and write that quickly All right, so after writing, we just substituted the various values into it by knowing that angle OAB is 90 degrees and the angle as calculated is 47 degrees and angle ABO is Y as stated in the question and then we went ahead, simplified and made Y the subject. Therefore, the answer to our question is 43 degrees. And I, I believe that if you take the axiom stated very seriously and you remember the theorems one by one and see how each of them can be applied then you can solve any question at all asked on this no matter where the angle is asked from you can still solve i hope this lesson has been of help to you to understand especially a quite confusing question such as this one if yes why not subscribe to this channel for more videos so thank you for making time with me all right so i hope the question after all is not as troublesome as it appears to be right good i encourage you to practice it more if you think it is still troublesome and i'm sure you'll be fine but you have to leave a comment and more importantly subscribe to this channel for more videos so that we can learn mathematics together thank you and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.